guess this time I'm going to take a huge jump into my office. Here we go. Huge jump. Welcome to the Didi Tahutu office on the beautiful beach in Koh Phangan, Thailand. Camera is running. Guys, it's a cloudy day again, but a beautiful day. And uh, it's dry. At least it's dry. Welcome to the daily show. Man, I'm making a daily video at the moment. I'm really having fun in it. I love my morning walk. Yeah, this is not really morning walk. It's almost 8.30 now. So it's late, but I love to do these walks and talk about what I read in the news with you guys. But I would love you guys to comment a little bit more because I want some interaction. I want to know and hear your opinion as well. Biggest news of the day. I think I need to run and shout this news. Bitcoin is going to go to one million dollar. <laughs> run across the new across the beach. Bitcoin is going to go to one million dollar. I'm talking about one single Bitcoin. I'm talking about a market cap of 10 trillion. Bitcoin could go to one million dollar. This one is not just this this kind of information no it's information from the global macro investors club and they always come out with reports and this time um, they wrote in the report bitcoin can go to one million dollar uh, I, I think the guy be behind the global macro investors is raul pa or something like this sorry if i misspelled or mis uh, <laughs> mispronounced your name raul at the same time, we can also see that the amount of wallets hodling 0.1 Bitcoin has been reaching an all-time high. This means that at the moment more than 3 million wallets hold more than 0.1 Bitcoin. That's more than 3 million wallets hold more than 0.1 Bitcoin. I thought the next bull run was going to be a bull run of institutional investors. But at the same time, we see the small cap investors, the retail investors, you, me, and other ones, they hold 0.1 Bitcoin as well. And it's 3 million of us. Really cool news. So um, all time high for that. Uh, very bullish prediction that can go to 1 million uh, of course uh, in 2025 I need to add to this uh, it's not that it's going to go to a million tomorrow but um, around 2025 he predicts it could be a million dollar per Bitcoin really cool also to mention today is Bitcoin already reached a really nice price of $15,000 where in Lebanon <laughs> how you know that's the power of bitcoin and the, and the, the free market um, of local bitcoins.com in lebanon the fiat system has crashed with 50 percent the last month can you imagine you own 100,000 euros and then the market crashes with 50 percent and then you only owe 50,000 euros and then you're talking about traditional fiat system these guys saw the power of bitcoin and now Bitcoin is being sold for $15,000 per Bitcoin in Lebanon. Most of them are being sold around $11,000, but the normal price is around $7,500. So fly to Lebanon. Oh no, shit, we are in lockdown. Try to fly to Lebanon or row to Lebanon, swim to Lebanon and sell your Bitcoins there through localbitcoins.com because you get double the price. You swim back again to Europe and you buy two Bitcoins. And you swim back there and you sell one to his Bitcoin for four and you swim back again to Europe and you have eight Bitcoins. This is how you could physically improve your health and uh, enhance your immune system and increase your Bitcoin portfolio. <laughs> you know, it's so cool to see these things happening. Really cool. I will put the link to the articles, of course, in the description below. So that was all the exciting Bitcoin news. But huge warning guys, huge warning. I am not the best technical analyst. I am not the best trader. I have been doing really good. 
I have been making some money with Bitcoin and I have been trading and but I don't pretend to be the best I'm just a normal guy the only thing I need to warn you guys for is as well that Bitcoin also is reaching like a multi-year resistance you know the the, the barrier between 7400 and 8400 has been resistance many times in the last few years so warning watch out yes in the next couple of years bitcoin will increase in value but now in the short term we can also see a dip and why because even the dow jones predicts a crash of 20 percent of the dow jones now because of the crisis and all this thing that is going on in the world so if bitcoin is still correlated to the traditional markets which it has which it has been the last couple of months maybe a year then bitcoin could crash in the short term as well you know there is there we have seen this correlation between the markets now for some time and so if the traditional markets crash short term because of the covid crisis i, I hate that they were going to know, going to call this crisis the covid crisis they should fucking call the crisis the banking debt crisis not the covid crisis because it's a banking debt crisis but okay so it could in the short term bitcoin could also go down a little bit so um just add to your portfolio at every dip don't go all in like i did because then you need to be very crazy and you need to want to have a free life and you don't want to you need to want to escape the hamster wheel most of you don't want this most of you feel very fine in the situation they live and work so keep doing that but do add Bitcoin to your portfolio the next couple of dips because it's important because in 2025 Bitcoin could be 1 million okay guys then some news from the Netherlands why always news from Netherlands it's not that I hate the Netherlands or whatever I love the Netherlands I, I we are just not the perfect family to live in the Netherlands because of all the rules and regulations that uh, that are made by the government about homeschooling and all that stuff yeah you can uh, buy drugs legally in the Netherlands yeah you can fuck a hooker legally in the Netherlands but you cannot homeschool your kids so that's one of the reasons we um, we left the Netherlands and we are traveling um, and living this digital nomad life but news from the Netherlands the Netherlands is not only killing all the festival season and killing all the fun by doing this but now it's also killing the huge Bitcoin blockchain startup industry and how are they killing it because they enforce startups to work to work with the regulation system and the regulation system is now implementing AML D5 regulations which means that even a startup needs to follow the same rules as a huge bank needs to do but those huge bank have the assets to hire a compliance officer and to do the KYC in-house and other stuff but a small startup won't have the assets to hire this compliance officer or do the KYC in-house that's why they use always third parties for this but now that's not allowed anymore because of this new AML D5 uh, law or regulation so a lot of startups are stopping one of the startups is, uh, is stops now is called bitter um, uh, you know bitter in the Netherlands means sad <laughs> but the company was called bit TTR uh, they are stopping they are now thinking about moving the company outside of the Netherlands uh, congratulations Netherlands with killing all the dreams of these beautiful startups of the most enhanced technology boom we have ever seen in the last few decades it's called the blockchain and it's called Bitcoin and it's going to change the world and thank you for killing the startup climate in the Netherlands so that now all those intelligent people that want to start up a beautiful company to you know uh, help the Netherlands in the future and pay tax the Netherlands are now going to beautifully leave the Netherlands and probably will start up somewhere in a country called Estonia where they can get an e-residence and an e-company set up in just two days or something like this this is bad this is bad for the Netherlands I think this is bad for all the young people that have the dream to work in the most enhanced technology out there at the moment so guys sorry that I'm the one that tell needs to tell you this news but sell your house buy some bitcoins start to travel and have fun with your family 
and build your company in a, in a country that really supports the newest technology. So I don't understand why the Prime Minister of the Netherlands even requested the European Bank to be the playing ground or the proofing ground for CBDC, the Central Bank Cryptocurrency, if you don't even allow startups to start up in the Netherlands when it comes to Bitcoin and blockchain. So this is a contradiction, a huge contradiction. One hand, I want all, I want to be the proofing ground for, for the new digital currency revolution. I want the Netherlands be this proofing ground. And on the other hand, you Mr. Prime Minister, you fucking kill the whole startup industry by your regulation rules. Good job, good job. I think it's time to vote. And this time, please let us vote in a decentralized blockchain system where the votes are really honestly counted and where everybody will be satisfied and where we really start to listen to that party that we really voted for and all the things they promised will be enforced because of this blockchain contract where all the things you politicians promise us will be registered and then when you're chosen to be the new prime minister you need to live up to those things you promised okay some short news why i am wearing this shirt because we travel with crypto and how do we travel with crypto we use excel trip for this and i am an ambassador for excel trip you can book more than like two million hotels apartments all over the world directly paying with bitcoin and you can pay flights from more than 400 different flight agencies. So this is really cool. Um, uh, check them, exceltrip.com. Yesterday, I did a cool panel with Carl the Moon and Alessandra. I don't know her last name, Alessandra. She's a long-term player in the investment market. And it was a very cool panel. It will be on Ka Kyle, I need to say Kyle, Chessie's YouTube channel. So check it over there. Check the video over there. This dog comes to say hello to me. Hello, Saudi Cup. Hello, Saudi Cup. <laughs> the dog said hello in Thai. You couldn't understand him, but uh, that's because he speaks Thai. Um, so there was a really cool panel with Carl. Um, do check Embly card. Do check the link because it's a new crypto card. How you can, uh, s in a simple way, spend your bitcoins now using a Mastercard all over the world. Um, in stores, gas stations, hotels, wherever you want. I, of course, I prefer you spend Bitcoin directly, but I also know that the world is not that far yet and you need to use steps in between. And one of those steps is Embly card and it's really cool. They even can make a customized card for you with your own picture on it, logo, slogan. Really cool. Check them out, Embly card. I think I have tackled all the things I want to talk about again let me know what you think Bitcoin to 1 million with a market cap of 10 trillion what do you think about the Netherlands killing this whole startup industry because of enforcing this AML D5 um, regulations to the startups what do you think about that the all-time high in 0.1 Hodling Bitcoin wallets is there. This means 3 million Bitcoin wallets hold more than 0.1 Bitcoin. What do you think about that? Um, what do you think about that Bitcoin is being sold in some countries like Lebanon for $15,000? You no, know, because their fiat system crashed with 50%. I would love to hear all your opinions about all these things. Uh, because you know sharing is caring and I'm not only telling you what I think. I want to listen to what you have to say to me. Because if I listen to you guys, I might learn something new as well. Thanks for watching all the videos. Thanks for hanging in there so long because I talk so much. And uh, please give the videos a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Please hit the bell button so you will be notified every time I make a video for you guys. Sweating here on this beautiful office in Koh Phangan. I wish you an amazing weekend because i think it's weekend yeah it's weekend for you guys i wish you an amazing weekend spend a lot of time with your family and friends have a beautiful glass of wine or bacardi coke or whatever you want and just enjoy life to the fullest 24 7 day in day out because it's all up to you 
to make life an amazing time. Thanks. See you tomorrow again, guys. Sun